What is up, guys? Welcome back. Today, well, first of all, nod to my homie up there. I am wearing a mic today because last time I did a soap video, Nugget might come out and say, hey, uh, last time I did a soap video, it's, the volume was really low on my end, and I ended up cutting a bunch out because it was me either having to turn it up or turn it down. So I'm wearing a mic, so it should balance. I will crank the volume up in editing, but you might have to turn your TV down. So today we're making a soap I have been excited about since the lovely H designed it. Uh, we don't do anything fancy. She literally draws a square on a piece of paper or I do. And we start doing designs, erase the mess ups, add what we want, adjust all the stuff, make it work with our formula and go from there. We are using rocket pop ice cream now, <laughs> this is the nostalgia or nostalgic soap that I've been telling you guys about most of the spring here. And everybody, I don't know if everybody has had a bomb pop, but it's essentially like a bomb pop. It is, the top notes are blueberry, pineapple, and orange. Mid notes are sweet cherry, crushed ice, that doesn't make any sense, and buttercream. So we'll just say sweet cherries and buttercream for the mid notes. And then the base note is vanilla musk. And to be honest, I don't get pineapple when I don't get orange. I get blueberry cherry. If you have ever had a bomb pop or if you've ever gone and had shave ice and they pour the blue, to me, it smells like the blue, uh, whatever the blue syrup is, they pour on the blue shave ice or that bomb pop flavor. It is very much a blueberry cherry. Uh, it also kind of reminds me of blue cotton candy. Now, everybody smells something different. So you might smell more cherry. You might smell more blueberry. You might actually be able to pick up the pineapple or the orange. But to me, it's a very, it's not overly sweet. It's not sickening sweet. It's, it's a soft, sweet blueberry slash cherry uh, fragrance. We will be using brick dust. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now, the thing with brick dust is you used to have to order three different, two or three different colors and mix those together yourself. Uh, the company we buy the colorant from, it's just Mica Colorant, has made a red color, true red. Red is extremely difficult to recreate and create and have it be strong. Uh, but the company has put out a color called brick dust it's about 70 dollars a pound seven zero dollars per pound 70 dollars per pound it's extremely expensive but at the end of the day if you want red buy brick dust <laughs> again i said it earlier in the year when we made the uh, island sunset which by the way will be continued on etsy and at shows until uh, I think August. So Island Sunset will still be out there. This I'm keeping some as well. So the colors in this is, are going to be the red brick dust and white. Other things that we use, sodium lactate, which is a plant salt for a hardener. Helps give it a little extra hardness. We, if you're new here, we use olive oil and coconut oil and goat milk from our own goats. We don't water it down. We don't add anything to it. We just use straight goat milk cubes. We freeze those and we use them in a frozen process, which is cold process. So we'll be using an ice bath to keep our milk cube uh, lye solution at a certain temperature. We use coconut oil and olive oil. That is it, super simple, beautiful soap. Very, very exceptionally good for your body. Uh, if you guys that buy it all the time wanna jump in the comments, love that. If you have never purchased from us, our Etsy shop will be open uh, June 1st and we'll leave it open for the first week of June. We do tend to shut it down after about a week because it gets sold down so far that it starts to look kind of shoddy and we don't want new people to go find the shop and then have it look empty and, and, and leave us and not come back. So this next rest uh, restock will be June 1st. We will have the 4th of July soap in there which we haven't named yet. I have no idea what to name it. I want to call it America, uh, but I don't know yet. So don't really know. I am wearing the patriotic shirt today, right? Um, so I don't really have anything else. Let's get started. You guys are going to absolutely love 
the smell of the soap. And I think the design as well. We're going to do a couple of different techniques that we do often, but it's, it's exceptionally difficult to do a flat pour. And we're going to do three of those. And then we're going to do instead of our normal, instead of our normal drizzle, this is our uh, oatmeal, milk and honey. And what we normally do is we'll mix for this one. We mix gold mica with olive oil and we drizzle it on top of the soap just to make it look pretty make it presentable, sprinkle some oats on top of there, let you know what it is. This time I'm actually taking liquid soap. I'm adding color to it and I'm going to drizzle the top of this soap with it. So it's going to be a completely different technique. And we're using embeds, which I've been making like they're going out of style. So I've been doing these little star embeds forever. And as you guys know, we're, we're a month ahead of what you're seeing on the shop. So I've been making these for a very long time it takes about 22 of them per 10 bars of soap and you'll see how we're using these and i think that's it let's just get started so this, this is the ice the milk cubes i was talking about we milk the goats filter the milk and then we put it in ice cube trays each ice cube tray gives you about a one ounce cube Okay, before I touch any lye, just touching this with my fingers, you get that little bit of milk there. It is literally like, I don't know, like rubbing butter between your fingers. Okay, so this is lye, aka sodium hydroxide. We go right in our milk cubes. Like I said, I don't understand when people cut their milk with water. I just don't understand that. Uh, if you're going to make goat milk soap, make goat milk soap. <laughs> so I'm just stirring this up a little bit to get, get lye on a little bit of everything. We're small batching this today. I've been making this about 100 bars at a time. So this, this is going to be a little challenging for me uh, <laughs> just, to, just to make a small batch. So bear with me. We're just going to pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds. I do 30 second rounds just to warm it up slowly. When I first started making soap, I was making it on the stove. It took forever. It was extremely painful to do, to bring it up to temp on the stove, not overshoot it. I do want to discuss, because I get asked all the time. So this is a Toastmaster, which you will not find online. It is a Canadian company. And... I found one at a warehouse store once, bought it, loved it, never wanted to go back. That one broke. And then we bought just about every expensive to non-expensive blender or stick blender that you could possibly think of. All the name brands, all the cool stuff. And this thing is the most epic stick blender I've ever used for soap making. And it's $9, $9. I don't know how else to say that any better, $9. And I get about three years out of one of these. So $3 a year. Uh, I've paid up to $70. And I've paid down to $9. So that's the cheapest one. And we're going to add the sodium lactate. I'm going to knock that over. It's been a very long time since I've actually just made a... 30 bar batch. It's kind of challenging to slow it down, go backwards. And we're just going to slowly, slowly for safely, not for any other reason. This oil works really nice. It doesn't speed up too much. It doesn't slow down too much. It's just about perfect. Yes. <laughs> this is from a broccoli and cheese soup. <laughs> we have really nice jars that we 
bought, these were from the dollar store, by the way, come with the lid, very nice. Uh, but we've grown so much, we've run out of containers and the dollar store only carries those about every four years, apparently. So go in with the fragrance oil. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Divide by three. Okay, so that's the first layer. See, it's quite shiny. Okay, part two. We have our little bucket full of stars. And all we're gonna do is take a star, stick it in the mold. You can't see that one yet. But you'll see them in a minute, they'll start coming out. So there you go. I'm not gonna make you watch that three times. Okay, y'all, number one, we did have to wait for that red to set up a little bit, just so you know. Number two, number three. All right, y'all, I have skipped you past the considerably boring part of watching me make the milk lye solution and the oil melt down again. Get to the good stuff. Of course, I can't show you guys to the end, but you know now we have a red layer and some blue stars. And now we're on a white layer. All right, I blended that for a really long time off camera because I want this white to set up fast because I essentially just have to sit and wait until this sits up, sets up before I can go to the next layer. Forgot to wear gloves. I'm trying to get you guys right on top of the action. So just going to slowly, slowly, slowly pour white on top of these hearts or these stars. I'm gonna let it get down in between the stars. And as you can see how it's flowing down the sides here, I want it to fill in any little gaps or holes or dips or divots. I want any air bubbles to be able to work their way out. I wanna fill in any crevices that might be there. That's gonna just be a slow and easy pour until we get, get everything kind of filled in.
we're just going to bebop this a little bit. If you guys can see the bubbles popping up out of there or not. One there. See the little bubbles popping up through there? Just settle everything down in there. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Okay, again, we have skipped all of the boring stuff, except the combining of oils. We're going to pour off just a tiny bit, maybe like two ounces, ounce and a half. I went ahead and went a whole two and a half on that one for whatever reason, but anyway. Back to the red. <laughs> it's kind of epic. I like that. Fragrance oil. It smells so good. It's so ridiculous. This part is easy peasy. do a spoon drop so we're gonna drop it on the spoon so it doesn't punch through the white very gently see if I can bring you guys down here don't want to move this, don't want to move this, don't want to move this. Camera just tried to do a split on me. Yeah, that angle's not really doing anything for you. Okay, these are pretty simple. A little bit of white in there. I don't want to over whip this because I need to be able to suck it into a pipette. So I'm not even going to turn this on. I want to suck it in the pipette and drizzle it on top of the soap. So this is a, a pipette. Squeeze it. Basically going to suck some up in it like that. This one we're going to use cashmere blue, about that color right there. And then we're going to use a little tiny, tiny bit of activated charcoal, and like a tiny bit. And that's only in there to darken the blue a little bit. 
So I want that blue a little darker than it's coming out. So pop some activated charcoal in there, darkens it right up. Shiny, shiny, red, white, and blue, baby. We'll get this cut for you guys so you can see what it looks like on the inside. All right, guys. Get this soap cut. Top view. Been a little humid here lately, so stuck to the mold a little bit, but I'll clean it up as best I can before shipping it out. Get the microphone right here. Everybody likes to tink at the end of the cutting. Oh, I rubbed it on the red. So there it is. There's your top. Inside there. It's really pretty and I love the red white and blue contrast so so very beautiful but that's gonna be the 4th of July soap little star in there red and white stripes and a nice little red white and blue on top now let me get you down in there so you can really see it cut <laughs> for y'all that really 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 like the soap cutting Still don't have a name for this, just so you know. Soap is soft, so it's not getting any really good, you can't hear the piano wires plink at the end. There, I got one for you. Pushed hard and fast. <laughs> so that's it. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it. It's been fun keeping it from y'all. <laughs> Just very, very, very beautiful. This Saturday, June 1st at noon. That's it, guys. Bye.